So here's pedal steel lick number two. I did the first one months ago. So here's the second one. Um, this one's much easier. It's um, It involves just bending one string um, and playing another one. <laughs> so hopefully it's easy. Here it goes. <laughs> Okay, that's that's the basic lick, and it's in the key of C, and it's using a uh, major pentatonic scale, and um, so this is the, the C in the the A form, right? But we're not going to be playing that whole chord. We're going to be playing parts of that chord. So, so the thing to do is to find that C chord right up here on the fifth fret, and place your index finger, pointer finger, on the G string, the C on the G string, which is the fifth fret, and then your pinky on the eighth fret of the B string, and then your ring finger a whole step or two frets away from your ring finger on the G string. So here's the sound of the, the uh, pointer finger, index finger, here's the sound of the pinky on the B string, and here's the sound of the ring finger on the G string. You're supposed to bend, but not like that, okay? So you, the first the first note you play is the G string with the ring finger. And you're going to bend up a whole step and then play the B string. And re then release the bend. And then play the, re the pointer finger, index finger. Right? So play the G string, the ring finger, B string. Play the G, release, and then the uh, index finger. And if you were to play that in the progression, it, you'd go from C to F to G. Right? Same thing all the way up the neck. You can also do that by incorporating the B and the E string as opposed to going up the, the fretboard. And it's the same thing, you're just playing, you know, different different spot. You know, here's your C, your G, your F. Um, I when I play things like this, I want each of those notes to sound very similar. In, in tone, so I tend to stay on the same two strings rather than going to the higher strings. I just think it sounds better. Um, let's see. So, here's one more one more thing you can do. This is a little more advanced. Um, down here, instead of just playing that one note with your pinky, play the C on the E string and the G on the B string, right? And then put your ring finger right there. And then you're going to play the first two. Right? So the B, I'm sorry, the E and the B string. And then you're going to play the G string and bend up. So you can you could kind of mix the the order in which you play those notes. Um, you can do a pre-bend. And a pre-bend is where you, I'm playing that first note on the B string, and before I play the G string, I've already bent it up. And then I release it after I play it, after I pluck it, all right? So it's like this. Here's the important thing with all these pedal steel bends, is that you want to make that bend as accurate as it possibly can be. You want to make it sound like it's in tune because the pedal steel is always in tune, right? Because it's a machine. Um. That's the lesson for today. And um, I'm going to be gigging soon again after a winter of no gigging whatsoever. So I'm kind of brushing up on this stuff and uh, trying to share some of this stuff with uh, players.
there you go.